Righto, so camped. Oh, hope you can hear that. But we're camped out at Glenbourne Dam. No, we're not. We're camped, where are we camped? We camped out at Lake Liddell. Liddell. We're at Lake Liddell, not Glenbourne Dam. We were going to Glenbourne, but we're at Lake Liddell. So I thought it's a nice day. It's pretty decent. The sun's going down. So I want to give you guys a bit of a look at the kick ass shower tent. How long have we had this on now? A couple of weeks? Ugh, yes. Yeah, a few weeks we had this thing on now. Um, tested it out a few times and I'll tell you what, I'm loving this thing. So I want to give you guys a look at how quick and easy it is to set up, how we're going to end up using it, and what other gear we're going to be using it with. So I'll set it up real quick. It's genuinely less than 30 seconds. Two Velcro straps, one here, one there, uh, and they're red so that they don't uh, blend in with all the other straps. Let the whole thing fall to the ground as easy as you like and then just pull the two arms out and come around here babe Cold. come around here and just look up here come so there's two arms just in the corners here you snap them into place one there and one on the other side as well is already in place but if it isn't already in place just snap it into place straighten the whole straighten the whole tent out so they send you out four pegs in the uh, kit as well so you've got a d-ring on each corner that you can peg this thing down to we're in really soft ground at the moment so you can push that in so each of these buckles as well tensions up the whole tent you can see that we've been using it i've got it way too tight Don't be like me and use a rubber mallet. These things suck. I just don't have my good hammer. And then you can just go around and tighten up all your straps. So you go around, tighten up all your straps until all the material's nice and tight. Righto, so come around, come around here. I'll show you inside. So you've got the one zip on this side here, and when you come in, come in. So you can see, I'll, I'll grab the camera. You can see there's enough, easily enough room for two people to share in if you really wanted to. I mean, you never know, might get lucky. Um, yeah, heaps of room in this thing, so you can double it as a shower, toilet, change room, whatever you really want, eh? We've been using it for kind of all of the above. Yeah. Um, and it's just good to have a little bit of privacy in <laughs> something that's not going to blow away on you at the slightest gust of wind. Um, I'll talk to you quickly about the material, so I'll give this back to you. So this material here is uh, double skin, so you've got the brown sort of material outside. It's not canvas, it's uh, like a ripstop. Uh, polyester and then inside you've got a water resistant or water uh, water and rot proof layer inside um, that water just beads off and runs away and then over here you've got a pouch for your shampoo conditioner your soaps whatever else same on the other side so you've got two of them um, his and hers fancy <laughs> you've got your two arms up here uh, are aluminium as everything's aluminium at the moment, but what I really love about them is in, come right into these knuckles, you just have a quick look at how strong and reinforced these things are. Yes. Just, yeah, how reinforced and how heavy duty these things are. Uh, they are all riveted together, but I mean, that's my finger right next to the rivet. It's almost the same size as the end of my finger. So they are really heavy duty uh, rivets and really heavy duty brackets. Uh, up the top, kick ass uh, do this little velcro strap up here as well for your shower head you can jump under there and have a quick look so for your shower head that's awesome that's really good for a kick ass shower head the velcro is really really good quality it's gonna last and last and last which is gonna be great and the bag itself is fully waterproof PVC I don't know but it feels nice yeah it's uh, waterproof PVC so 
Really, really good quality bag. If you haven't already seen that other video on when we installed this thing, I'll have a bit better of a look at this thing on both sides. So go there and check that one out as well. Other feature, so if you are using this over the top of your cab or on a wagon, this comes in handy. So you can drop this down and access your vehicle. Um, or if you've got a small canopy uh, or a dog box sort of setup, you can access your canopy in that way and get all the gear out that you need. So you can have all your shower stuff in there. You can have your hot water system actually inside your canopy and you don't even have to take it out. So that's really good. It's not really gonna do anything for us, but um, it's just good to have that there as an option. If we, we might be able to muck this around somewhere so we can actually get into the canopy, but that'd be cool if we could. Anyway, zip that up. That's pretty much it for the inside. Um, I'll grab our shower and show you guys how we're going to be using it. Right, so our shower is this really little cheap budget friendly option from Kickass. Uh, it's the Kickass Lithium Powered Portable Shower. So this thing just comes as a shower head, a little uh, centrifugal pump, and a lithium battery to power the whole thing. I've taken it all out already, so let's jump in here and <laughs> it is and have a look at what's going on. Okay, so in the bag, you get, everything comes apart obviously, but you get your little pump unit uh, with a waterproof cable that goes down into the motor of the pump. This is your lithium battery, so you can't really get much smaller than that. Um, awesome little battery, works like a charm. Uh, the shower head, you get two head attachments for this. You get the normal shower head, which works brilliant, and then you get uh, this, a little shower head that's sort of a little bit more pressure. Um, you can, if you can focus on that, that comes out a little bit more high pressure than the main one, than the normal one. As well as that, you get some spare, <clears throat> some spare uh, seals and gaskets, things like that, and this little suction cup, just to suction onto anything, uh, and you can hang your hose over here. So then you get your shower head uh, suspended above you. Pretty cool how they do this battery pack. Um, the battery pack is uh, IPX5, so, so you can't immerse the pump in water, but it is splash proof, so having it in the shower is not uh, a big deal. Now, this is the cable that runs down to the pump. I'll show you how this goes together. So you can see in here, you've got a slotted section, and then on the cable itself, it's sort of shaped a little bit like a cam. So you just plug it in, and then just turn it and it locks into place. It's got a little seal in there too, so uh, water shouldn't get in there. As soon as that's done, you just run your cable up the hose until you, you're baby. happy with where it's sitting. And you just push the hose into this little slot. And then while you're holding your shower up, your battery pack's just off the ground. <laughs> so I'll give you guys a little bit of a look at how it works. So you get your pump, drop it in your bucket, make sure your battery pack's uh, plugged in. And then there's a little button on top of your battery. So there's a little white button there on top of your battery. Press that, it lights up blue, and away you go. Where you go, you're showering. Let there be water. <laughs> so how good's that? Not bad at all. I'm not gonna get under it because this is cold. So, <laughs> I've had my shower for the day. But you can see down on the ground as well, we've just got a bucket. So we just drop that straight into a bucket of warm water. Um, we just throw a kettle on, two litres of boiling water and about, I don't know, what, seven litres of cold water. And it is pretty well the perfect temperature for us. Uh, it does pump pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie. It pumps, I think, from memory, I can't remember what it is. I think it's a three, three litre or two or three litre a minute pump. So it goes through water pretty fast. Uh, but when you're camping, you, you kind of want to be, what, pretty frugal with your water anyway, babe, don't you? you, yeah. you the way we do it, we just turn it on, wet ourselves down, soap ourselves up, and then rinse ourselves off again. But that's the setup we're going to use. So like I said before, you can Velcro this up to the top, like so, and then aim it wherever you want to aim it. What I've been having a look at is just using the bag as a bit of a back backstop. So that there seems to just cascade down and out. 
Won't even just, I'll turn that on so you guys can have a look at that. That sort of comes out at the perfect, perfect distance. So just aim that over here. So that's coming out to about halfway. So pretty much perfect for a shower. I've got to reach down there now and turn it off. Oh no, got it. <laughs> so that works, that works pretty awesome. Yeah, when we have used it, we've um, used the suction cup and just suck it straight onto the side of the canopy there. But, um, and that works, that works fine. Really good. But anyway guys, that is the shower tent. That is the shower. That's the system that we're going to be running. If you guys have got any questions, comments, queries at all, leave them in the comment section down below and one of us will get back to you. Uh, we try to get back to every single comment. Um, if we don't, I apologize, but we do get a fair few. We have, we have been getting a fair few recently. Um, Little, the newborn is just taking all that time that's, right now. We that's it. We get a red hot track. Yeah, the new baby is just, yeah, is running us ragged. She's, she's killing us. Yay. <laughs> We wanted it. But guys, any comments, questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already seen our install video, you can check that out over here in the top, over there, that way, over, over you, in the top left-hand corner. If you haven't already, guys, hit the subscribe button just down below it. That there will keep you up to date with all of our updates, our trips, our little installs, our products, everything that we're using. Until next time, guys, get out and about. See ya. Woo.